Hey folks, the, the good people at Heartland Wildlife Institute asked me and Tom to put together a, uh, a quick how-to segment on their new soil test kit. Right. Now this kit tests what, Tom? It tests for pH, and then it's going to test for phosphorus, nitrogen, and potash. And basically what that does is once you've planted your food plot, you know, your phosphorus, your nitrogen, your potash, as far as your fertilizer, it lets you know what you need and what you don't need. You know, the pH is, uh, you know, that's something you absolutely got to test for because nothing will grow without the right levels of pH. Right. And that's probably the easiest thing to test. You know, all of these are color coded. I know we look like we got a chemistry set up here, but believe it or not, all of this stuff is so simple. First thing we're going to do, Tom, Let's, te let's test either one of your samples from all your different plots real right. quick with the, the pH. pH. pH is easy. You do the dirt, you put the dirt in, put a little bit of distilled water. It's got a line that is absolutely perfect for your soil level. Fill with soil, fill with water. Okay, we got the perfect amount in there, Tom. Now, all you gotta do is take one of the green capsules, obviously green color label on there, and you Undo that and drop the powder right in the test chamber. Put the lid back on it. Give that one a shake. Give that time to settle. All the sediment will come down to the bottom and you'll end up with the color you want there. And just like I say, right from the chart, it'll tell you what your pH level is. Folks at Heartland give you a nice chart that tells you exactly what you need to put on there to raise the pH level or to lower the pH right. level. Well, Tom, look at that, brother. I'd say you're <laughs> neutral. You're right at, at 7.0 on your on your pH test on the blind turtle plot. So you've got your notes right. now. You've so got, I'll write down, you know, write down your food plot, what the pH is, and then you can test all your other nutrients in, in the soil. And yep. And you've already taken care of business here. We knew we were going to film this today, folks. So I had Tom go out yesterday get a soil sample about four inches deep right. in each of his plots. Okay, and he put one to five distilled water. So one cup of soil, five cups, cups of distilled, distilled water. water in each. Mixed it good and let them settle. It says you can let them settle from 30 minutes to 24 hours depending on the soil type. The sediment is all down at the bottom there, but now we're going to test the potash, the nitrogen, and the phosphorus. And again, each one has a capsule that's color coded to make it even that much more simple. So all we need to do is take the dropper, add the water right up to the fill line. Okay, we got that one. Again, you just break the capsule open, careful and gentle. Get that down in there. Okay, put the lid back on. That's sealed up good, Tommy. Give that one a shake. We'll go for the nitrogen here. Okay. Give that one a shake. And then last, we'll do the phosphorus here. Now, these samples here, folks, are going to take about 10, 10 minutes, 10, 12 minutes to settle. And then it's the same thing as your pH. It's all color tested on the side to be able to look at it and see if it's low or surplus or sufficient. The nitrogen has settled a bunch there on top and it is There's depleted. The it's depleted yep. for sure. Yep, no, depleted, definitely. Then your phosphorus, I can see a blue tint in there, mm -hmm. which to be honest with you, it looks like we're in the P2, the adequate stage there. Um, you know, you have to look at it from an angle. I'm sure if we let this sit even longer, right. all the sediments will settle to the bottom. But we'll be able to tell you a lot easier. Yeah, so it's simple to, to test the, the, the phosphorus, the nitrogen, the, the potash, and the pH level. And no matter what you come up with, folks, on your, your N, P, and K, your nitrogen, your potash, and your phosphorus okay. there, you know, this chart here will tell you what you need to raise the levels or to lower the levels of those three different types of mineral there. Right. So, I mean, it's not rocket science. The testing part of it is easy. 
the hard work will come when you have to raise or lower the right. levels of them. Right. But, so you know. when we lay the fertilizer down, I know that I have to, for sure, until this settles, we'll find out. But we need a higher base nitrogen fertilizer because it's 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 depleted. It's gone. Right. And your your phosphorus is good and your pH is great. So, so we got the thumbs up on right, two out of the four, four here. So. You know, this, I think this is one of the most crucial steps you can take to ensure a productive, efficient food plot. Right. Like and I said, you can get lucky, but... Yeah, it, why, why gamble? Get the soil test from heartlandwildlifeinstitute.com. There's a lot more information and detail on their website. Check them out, but it's not rocket science, folks. It's easy even for a couple of old country yeah, boys. That's right. Thanks again, Tom. Uh, no problem.